We're just going to get ready to fit our next plank up on this side. So what we need to do is get a little offcut of planking and correct thickness and just check our rebate on the stem. This needs to be chiseled in a bit deeper at the front so that our plank sits in there nice and snugly. So we'll just do that and then the next job will be to bevel the top edge of this plank or brow. Browing it off is uh, another term for just playing this so the, the next plank when it sits there is flat on the lower plank. So we'll do some of that. And, uh, This rebate here it needs to be quite flat because the end of the plank is never going to bend. So using a, a straight bit of planking stock we can eye down here and, and make sure it's at the right angle to run on the plank below. We can check that it's going to end up flush with the front of the stem. And we can use our chisel as a bit of a scraper just to take out any high spots. It's looking okay. We can just tidy up this front edge. So then the next job is to bevel our plank and there again we can use a scrap of the planking stock, the right thickness, by positioning that where our next plank will be. We've got about a three quarter of an, three quarter of an inch overlap. So if we look down here, three quarters of an inch, and see the gap that we've got there, that is equal to the amount we're going to have to take off this top edge to put a flat. So we can mark up how much we need to take off. And then between the moulds, we just sort of merge the lines together to give us a guide to where we're planing. And from the mould, first mould forward, we tend just to run that out fairly constantly. Once you're, you've planed off some of it, if you look along the top edge of the plank, if there are lumps and bumps then you haven't quite got it right because looking at the, the planks below, the planks in any decent clinker boat, there should be a gradual change of thickness. It, it never, you never get lumps. So it's a gradual sweep of the curve of the plank above that 
replicates itself on the plank below. So this is a slightly modified plane. A strip of wood glued down the centre so I can use both sides of the blade depending which way I need to plane. And the blade has just been chamfered off to give me the length of the overlap that we're using. When you're getting down near to your pencil line it's always a good idea to check. That's coming on. It needs a we haven't quite gone our full width there because of the changing shape of the plank and the curve you always have to fine tune the planing a little bit on the flatter areas it's fairly easy but up here you just have to get the feel of the plank and then try and get that lovely flat bevel there as the plank curves around the corner. That's not looking bad there now. Quite happy with that. Just check along the thickness of the top of the plank there. You could see that it could just do with a little bit more off in that area. So trying to keep the plane flat. It's good, we just developed a little lump there which actually if you close your eyes and run your thumb over you can feel that there's a distinct change of direction there. Because of the way this plane works it's difficult to get in there once we're into the half lap. So there again, a chisel, either used as a chisel or used as a scraper. We've just got a little ridge there that we've got to get rid of. That's where the, the half lap was planed there. And this bevel has been planed there. And that's where the two meet and they formed a little corner. So we can either just Shave that away. Or scrape it away. So that's from our first mould forward done. We can just work our way back and work into merging them all together. If you hold the, the scrap of timber on the bevel that you're planing, ideally it should come up and touch the mould. There, there's just still a slight gap, so we just need a little bit more bevel there. That's looking good, so this is good. That's good, we just got to worry about the bit in between. And by eyeing along the top, it broadens out there, narrows in again for that mould. That's got a few lumps and bumps, so we just need to smooth it all in together. Taking care not to go too deep where we've just finished planing on this mould. And then just looking along it, 
feeding along it. We've just got a little bit of a ridge there. So quite lightly get rid of that. And that's looking pretty good. Another way you can check is by putting a scrap of timber and pushing it against the bevel and then drawing it along the plank. So there it's lining up with that mould. It should come back oh, without too many lumps and wobbles. It should come back smoothly back to there, opening out all the time until it comes back and lands on that mould. That's what we're aiming for. So this is our third mould. Now we've got, just got to bevel this off. We've already marked the top edge with the amount we think we've got to shave away. Our first and second moulds are done. So we'll work away at this one. Just check from time to time that we're heading in the right direction. So we've just got a little little piece there to take away. Stick our bit of plank there. That comes back fairly nicely. So that's good. Move back to our next mould. Haven't quite gone far enough down the plank on this one. Just a question of holding the plane at a slightly different angle. Making sure we get our full bevel there. Try our scrap of plank. Just wants a fraction more off this top edge. One shaving should do it. There we are. So now it's just fairing between this mould and the previous one. We've got a pencil line there. We're down to the pencil line on that mould. We're not quite on this one, so we've just got to follow it along and fair it in, plane it in and see what happens. Because this mould's fairly close to the transom, we're actually into our half lap or Gerald there, so the plane isn't going to make a perfect job of this section but we can certainly get all this down to where it should be and we just got to look check the bevel this is quite a reasonable curve here so we're going to have to plane off quite a bit of the bevel to get our plank to sit That's where we are at the moment, we just want a little bit more off the top edge. It's looking good there, so...